Good morning, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments of all kinds, autoimmune issues, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, and is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may say that's a miracle, this healing and renewing system is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we're here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls at 855-660-4261. Try to get on board early. The phone lines do fill up quickly. I like to get as many calls as we can as we can fit in. So try to get on board early. It's first come, first serve at 855 855- 660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear us talk about on the program or recommend on the program or advertise on the program, go over to brightsideben.com, take a look at our shopping cart with all the Longevity products, including my personal favorite, the BTT, Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder. You add to water and drink. For you guys who are doing the Longevity business, you don't really need to uh, to be selling 400 plus products. There's 400 products in the line. All you really need is a few, and one of the most important is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Most folks will notice results in one or two doses, results like weight loss, appetite suppression, more energy, lower blood pressure, better skin, and it doesn't take very long, folks. Within one or two doses, you're going to start to notice some results if you're like most folks. It is 50 bucks a canister. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. If you have an Android phone, check out the Brightside app. You can carry the Brightside with you on your Android phone. Thank you to Ted Anderson. And if you want to review any of the programs that any of the programs that you've heard or any of the programs that you missed, you can go over to brightsideben.com and take a look at listen to our archives. We have all the programs archived. We also have them at benfuchsarchive.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK. Appreciate that very much. Benfuchsarchive.com. All the programs are tagged and labeled. Uh, all the archive programs are tagged and labeled at Benfuchs. Archive.com. All right, thanks for joining us on the bright side. Got to see Dr. Wallach yesterday. He was entertaining as always. That guy is so brilliant. That guy is so right on. He was talking about how uh, mu- muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis, these kinds of diseases that we consider that we just have to live with, that we're condemned to deal with, are reversible. And he's dead on, right on. No matter what your health challenge is, folks. It's reversible, given enough time, of course, depending on how far along, uh, how far down the uh, down the uh, wormhole you, wormhole you've gone. Uh, all diseases, all breakdown, degenerative diseases are reversible. This is the premise. This is the premise of the bright side. This is the premise of the nature of the healing body. The body is a healing and regenerating system. You do need to change your lifestyle, though. You need to change the way you eat. You need to uh, change the way you handle your business, and one of the most important things you need to do is get yourself on a nutritional supplement program. We've been talking about MSM sulfur. Sulfur is truly an incredible, absolutely stunningly important element. MSM is nutritional sulfur. Methyl sulfonyl methane is a form of sulfur that is produced from seaweed. It's a natural form of sulfur. It's easy for the body to absorb. It's got wonderful, pro- all the properties of sulfur, really, you can get from MSM. Next to sulfur's tissue hardening properties, you get detoxification from sulfur. In fact, no element on the periodic table is more important to the body for detoxification than sulfur. We haven't really talked a lot about sulfur and detox, but rest assured, folks, it is the body's primary detox 
detoxification element and sulfur deficiencies are more are becoming more and more common. Most of the important detox substances in the body work with sulfur. Glutathione, perhaps the most important detox substance in the body, has a little piece of sulfur on it. Sulfur turns long chains of sugar molecules, pieces of sugar, into detox compounds. In fact, in a world that's filled with these crazy magic formulas and magic potions, magic recipes for building your immune system and fighting cancer and just staying healthy, very, very few natural products have the amazing health benefits with the complete non-toxicity that you get from, from MSM sulfur and from polysaccharides, from, from long-chain sugars that have sulfur on them. One of the most important is something called fucoidin which is the active ingredient in longevity's Z radical. Just Google fucoidin in cancer, fucoidin in immunity. Fucoidin is a classic example of a sulfur sugar compound, and it's truly amazing detox properties come from that element sulfur. One of my all-time favorite supplements is something called NAC or N-acetylcysteine. I've got a blog post up at pharmacistben.com on NAC, talking about how you can use NAC for for uh, helping reduce the the irritation that can be caused by acne, topical acne products like benzoyl peroxide. NAC is used in hospital emergency rooms for Tylenol poisoning, which is a common uh, a common source of uh, liver toxicity. It's one of the leading causes of liver toxicity. NAC is great for hangovers. If you're on Proactive or Clearasil or any benzoyl peroxide products, put some NAC in your Proactive or put some NAC in your benzoyl, pero benzoyl peroxide product or put some NAC in a moisturizing cream and you can help reduce the redness and inflammation that's associated with some of these acne medicines. And then there's sulfur's very important role when it comes to bile. Next to blood and lymph, the most important fluid system in the body is bile. And one of the most important elements in bile, the element that accounts for bile's amazing detergency, fat dissolving property. Bile is your body's soap. It dissolves fatty and oily substances. And it gets its fat dissolving and oil, oil dissolving properties from sulfur. Bile is a soap. It's a cleanser and its soapy properties come from sulfur. Bile cleanses the oily factors in food. It breaks up the oily factors in food. Oil factors in food include fatty vitamins and fatty nutrients. Bile also cleanses the liver of oil factors including old hormones. Once your bile is messed up, once your bile becomes sludgy and thickened, you are off to the disease races and there's more and more literature that's showing that there's a very important relationship between sludgy, dirty bile and heart disease between sludgy, dirty bile and atherosclerosis. And guess what? You need sulfur to make bile. Sulfur is highly electrical. It's highly magnetic. It makes things happen. It makes fats more soluble. It magnetically attracts toxins. It's part of your detox system. It's part of your bile system. Bile also is part of the detox system. If you don't have a gallbladder, you've got to be really, really careful of toxicity because you've lost your main reservoir of bile. If you don't have a gallbladder, you would be wise, in my opinion, to start using MSM sulfur, to start using bile salts that you'll get in the ultimate enzymes from longevity, to start using lecithin, to start using apple cider vinegar, all of which can support fat metabolism in the bile system in the body. This attractive power that sulfur has to pull toxins in is called chelation. Many of you have heard of this term chelation. Chelation is a fancy scientific word that simply means a magnetic attraction. Sulfur chelates or magnetically attracts heavy metals. It magnetically attracts toxins and viruses and microbes. It's one of the most important, maybe the most important supplement you could ever use for protecting yourself from radiation. MSM sulfur. Look, guys, can you see? how absolutely amazing this stuff is and we're talking with no toxicity and we're talking ridiculously cheap 15 bucks for a hundred grams of this stuff and that's buying at retail seaweed NAC MSN these are all sulfur compounds that can protect you from radiation that have detoxifying properties and more I'll tell you about how this whole thing relates to skin uh, skin care here in a minute when we come back from our break I'm pharmacist Ben you're listening to the bright side of the Genesis Communication. Network. 
right, we're back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we can help you. If you want to purchase any of the longevity, longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can get products right off the website. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team. If you like this kind of stuff and you want to share the information and you want to make some money at the same time and you want to help change lives, you want to join my team. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a business, you can get your products at the wholesale price, and you can help spread the word, and you can help change lives like we do here every day on the Bright Side. Call 866-735-2470. Tell them you want to join the Bright Side Ben team. They can give you the full scoop, 866-735-2470. From the journal Prostaglandins, Leukotrienes, and essential fatty acids. These are all molecules of inflammation. Metabolism, breakdown of polyunsaturated fatty acids, and ketogenesis, an emerging connection. You don't necessarily, necessarily need to have coconut oil to generate ketones. You can generate ketones from any oil. You can generate ketones from unsaturated, polyunsaturated oils, the kind of oils that, that we hear so much negative stuff about. Now, I, I, uh, you know, I understand you got to respect the oil. I'm not saying you can go crazy on your oils. However, there are wonderful benefits by, from, from these polyunsaturated fats, like with all fats. According to this article, PUFAs, P-U-F-A's, polyunsaturated fats, vegetable oil fats, basically, have anti-seizure benefits. And they're ketogenic. This is from... Uh, from March 2004. I personally am a big fan of coconut oil, as you know. Coconut oil for Alzheimer's, coconut oil for performance, coconut oil for weight loss. Coconut oil is one of those, it's one of the, you know, if you read, when you get on the internet and you read all the articles about coconut oil, it almost seems like a fad. It can't be true that you have one food that's tasty and uh, good for your brain, it'll help you lose weight, help you have energy, great for diabetes. It's just hard to believe. You think it's like a fad, but it's not when you understand the biochemistry. Apple cider vinegar is much the same way. If you get on the internet and read up about apple cider vinegar, it's going to seem like it's a fad. It can't be that one food has all of these benefits. Well, like MCT's apple cider vinegar has unbelievable benefits that are easy to understand once you understand the chemistry. Apple cider vinegar, MCT, uh, coconut oil contains MCTs. That's the secret to the power of coconut oil. And apple cider vinegar contains something called acetate or acetic acid, which is similar to uh, an MCT. It is. A, it's a short chain fatty acid, an S SCT, not an MCT. It's an SCT, but it has the same kind of benefits or some similar benefits. There's a lot of similarities in the chemistry, the fat chemistry, I should say, of coconut oil and apple cider vinegar, and both have a reputation for being panaceas. And that's because these short chain and medium chain fats are panaceas. That is so important. These medium chain fats and short chain fats are like panaceas in the sense they're good for so many different things. Because they involve, they're involved with how the body processes, utilizes, leverages, takes advantage of, exploits energy. MCTs and short chain fats are involved with energy. And whenever you hear about energy, you want to think about the brain and the heart, and indeed, short and the digestive system. And it turns out that all of these fats are important for the brain, heart, and the digestive system. Now, they don't tell you a lot about the skin. You don't have a lot of, there's not a lot of research about acetate and MCTs and apple cider vinegar for the skin. But in my experience, they're both very important for the skin, especially topically. Coconut oil for the skin will help drive active material in from the surface of the skin to the lower level of the skin. So mix your actives in coconut oil. That's what I do in my, uh, in my truth treatment products. My truth treatment products contain, or my retinol does, I should say, all my truth treatment products contain transdermal penetration ingredients. That is ingredients that will pull the active material through the surface of the skin. But our retinol is made with MCTs. And that gives you more retinol benefit, our retinol 5% gel. I'm telling you, if you are interested in a topical anti-aging product, 
a retinol 5% gel, while slightly stimulating, not anywhere near as stimulating as Retin-A or, or over-the-counter cheapo retinol products that you get, which you never get 5%, by the way, in, in your retinol products over the most department store and, and, and over-the-counter retinol products. Our retinol 5%, uh, our retinol, uh, Truth Retinol Gel is made with 5% and it's made with a transdermal enhancer, which is based in coconut oil. Apple cider vinegar, the acetate in apple cider vinegar is incredibly important for brain health as well. And it's important for sugar metabolism and energy. I like doing apple cider vinegar in the middle of the day. It gives you energy in the middle of the day, especially on an empty stomach. Apple cider vinegar has got potassium, it's got calcium, it's got magnesium, it's got copper, it's got... Uh, sodium, it's got uh, mineral uh, amino acids, it's got uh, vitamin C and vitamin A, it's got the B complex. I mean, this stuff's amazing. Apple cider vinegar it costs you a dollar, a dollar fifty. It is the best health tonic you'll ever use. Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar, not the distilled kind. Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. So anyway, the ketogenic diet, high fat health diet for most of us conditioned by the low fat mainstream dietitian advice that we've been hearing for, for decades, although in fairness, not as much over the last few years, but for decades, we heard about low, you had to go low fat. We had a fear of fat. When I was growing up in the 60s or 70s, uh, 60s and 70s, there was a fear of fat. Americans, the whole fear of fat that Americans had started in the 1950s. There were studies that were starting to link heart disease with uh, ingestion of fat. There was a guy named Dr. Ansel Keys, who was a, a professor at the University of Minnesota, which did a lot of grain research, by the way. I'm not sure if that's coincidental or not. And he went around and he did some studies. And, and actually, he, as it turns out, he, he interpreted the data of his, of his studies incorrectly. But he came up with the idea that there was a link between eating a lot of fat and heart disease. And then you have the simplistic notion that you know, fat is fat on, in our food is the same as fat in our bodies. So the link between dietary fat and, and, and bodily fat kind of somehow came together. And between these two wrong ideas that you eat a lot of fat, you get heart disease, and you eat a lot of fat, and you, you get fat, millions of Americans were on this low-fat bandwagon for decades. Even though, even though heart disease didn't really drop and people got more and more obese, more and more overweight as they went low fat. Nobody seemed to notice that. Our fear, our fear of fat really got going around 19, uh, somewhere in the mid-1970s when uh, the cholesterol theory of heart disease was just starting to become popular in the mainstream and people were dying at uh, really alarming rates of heart disease and heart attacks. Senator George McGovern uh, called a hearing to raise attention to this connection between fat and disease, specifically between diet and disease, and he featured in his hearing uh, conventional mainstream health geniuses like Dr. Nathan Pritikin, who gave us the Pritikin diet, which is a low-calorie, low-protein, low-carb, I'm sorry, high-carb diet, low-fat, high-carb diet. The Pritikin program says that only 10% of our daily calories should come from fat. Should come from fat. That's about as anti-ketogenic, by the way, uh, as you can get. Anyway, the upshot of the hearing is we should all be eating more carbs in the form of grains and fruits and vegetables, and eating a lot less fat. And almost to this day, we're still following this with this uh, conventional wisdom. I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Side. I am pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our searchable archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting uh, benfuchsarchives.com. That's a really neat website. Peter uh, did a great job on that. All I've got all kinds of websites uh, up and what Peter did is he kind of co uh, consolidated them all into one site. So I've got all my, my true sites, Critical Health News and Pharmacist Ben, etc. They're all consolid consolidated at benfuchsarchives.com. There's also ar an archive there uh, that's searchable. Okay, so there's so much to talk about here, and I know I've been doing it for a while. I still want to get to CLA, which I absolutely 
absolutely love conjugated linoleic acid, a very interesting fat. We're going to talk about that probably tomorrow. I uh, also want to talk about some of the other nutrients that you should use when you're on the ketogenic diet, and we'll do that tomorrow. And we'll finish up talking about this whole uh, McGovern hearing and Nathan Pritikin and the whole thing, how Americans got convinced that they got to eat less fat. We'll continue that tomorrow. From, uh, let's see here, the journal Frontiers in Cellular Neuroscience, swapping lard for fish oil benefits the brain as well as the body. How do you like that? In a study that compares the effect of different fats on the brain, unsaturated types of fats, such as fish oil, were found to have beneficial effects on brain inflammation uh, and inf uh, infer, what is it? brain inflammation. What am I reading here? Swapping lard for fish oil. I wonder why they say this. Further results indicated that a diet of fish oil resulted in no modification. I see. Okay. So apparently, they used to think that fish oil would, uh, would have beneficial effects on the brain. But as it turns out, lard can actually have better effects on the brain than fish oil. Lard is a saturated fat. Lard is highly ketogenic. And, uh, and actually, lard is pretty darn good stuff. As gross as it may sound, pig fat, it's actually really good when it comes to brain and heart health for that matter. How, that is so amazing to me that you can eat lard and it's actually good for your heart and good for your brain. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Let's go to, uh, do, do, do. let's go to Eugene in Oregon. Good morning, Eugene. Welcome to the Bright Side. Eugene. Do we have Eugene? Eugene, Hello. Eugene. Hey, Eugene. You there? Eugene. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Eugene. Eugene, I'm having a hard time hearing you, buddy. Are you there? I'm here. Okay. What's going on? Good morning. Well, I'm, I'm wondering about uh, this DHEA. All right. What are you wondering about? Well, I'm 72 and I got uh, prostate cancer. And I'm taking oh. 25 milligrams of DHEA a day. Okay. Well, how safe that is. It's not unsafe. Uh, you got to play around with the dose a little bit. It is a hormone. It's not, it's not like a vitamin or a mineral, and that's probably what you're alluding to. I wouldn't say it's unsafe. The body has many protective mechanisms for making sure DHA doesn't get turned into anything bad. DHA in itself is not bad. The problem with DHEA is it gets converted. It gets transferred, uh, it gets transformed into testosterone and ultimately to estrogen. And so that's why you'll hear sometimes people saying, well, you got to be careful with DHEA. You probably do have to be careful with it. I don't know that I would be too concerned. You got way bigger fish to fry if you've got prostate problems, prostate cancer. Uh, you should be way more concerned about the kind of fats you're eating. You should be way more concerned about the kind of nutrients you're taking, particularly nutrients that help support the hormone system like zinc, vitamin E. Vitamin E is one of the all-time great fat-protecting vitamins, and vitamin E is uh, the prostate's a fatty gland, and anything you do to protect your fats or eat correct fats is going to help the prostate. So, I, I mean, DHEA, yes, it's true. It can con get converted into hormones, and you don't want to mess around with your hormones if you've got prostate cancer, but you got way more important things to concern yourself about. If you really want to you really be careful, drop your dose on the DHEA. Are you noticing any, any uh, benefits from it? That's the question, Eugene. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I don't take it, I'd be, I'd be in, in pain. I mean, The I DHEA helps pain. you with pain? Well, it's kind of an allergy thing, I think. I'm not sure how that would work. Are you noticing that you have more virility or more energy or you're healing faster, more strength, more yeah. sexual it's libido it's kinds of things? Yeah. Are you yeah, noticing that? I feel better than I'm taking the DHA. If I don't take that DHA, yeah. I wouldn't feel good. My opinion is stay on. I don't think you, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, you got more what important things to worry about. It? What about offsetting any uh, potential problems with uh, a product called DIM, which is a Yes, I know about DIM. You want to hear a funny story about DIM? The guy who invented DIM, or who, who actually brought it to market, is a, a, he's an anesthesiologist here in Boulder, Colorado. 
and he's actually a friend of mine. And when DIM first came out, I was one of the first guys to start working with it. DIM stands for diindoleal methane, and it's a it's a, 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 a chemical that's found in broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables. And this guy, his name is Zelig, uh, came up with it, and he started marketing it. This was probably in the 90s, and I was one of the first guys to start working with it. I had a whole bunch of it in my fridge for a while. Was, he wanted to do skincare with it, and it never happened. But uh, it should, and DIM is good stuff. DIM is an anti-estrogen, is what it is. So it may help you. It may, and, and if you have a prostate problem, it may help you with that. And it's just not a bad idea to do it. But I, even better than DIM, you can also do lots of broccoli and lots of cru- uh, cruciferous vegetables. DIM is yeah, one of the fra- well, yeah, DIM is one of the fractions in cruciferous vegetables, as is something called I3C. I don't know if you've heard of that one, indoleal 3 carbonyl I3C is like DIM. It's an anti-estrogen. And so for women who are on uh, tamoxifen, you can use the DIM and you can use the I3C, if not instead of uh, the tamoxifen, to lower your dose on tamoxifen. And for anybody who wants to control the effects of estrogen, which is a stress hormone, as we've said so many times, an inflammatory hormone, uh, using DIM and I3C can be helpful. Say if you have, if you have Alzheimer's disease, which is associated with estrogen, or if you have autoimmune disease, which is associated with estrogen, uh, DIM and I3C may be helpful there too. I don't know necessarily it would help you with the DHA, but it sounds like you're doing great, Eugene. Okay. All right, man. Good to you. All right. Take, take Have a great day. Take care. All right. Let's go to Karen in Texas. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Karen. Hi. Good morning, Ben. Hey. Hi. Nice to talk with you. Say, I wanted to ask you, my son, uh, went to the dermatologist this week, and he's been prescribed Accutane, which I took literally 50, 49 or 50 years ago. Are you serious? You um, took it that long ago? I did. It's literally um, 50 I'm years ago? I was and I, was, I took it back when I was about 17. I didn't know. I didn't realize. Oh, it's 40 years. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, I thought it came, out in the, okay. yeah, it came out in the 80s. My mouth is bad. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It came out in the late 70s, I think, or somewhere in there. Right. So what's your, what's and, your uh, question? Well, uh, I wonder how safe it is. You know, his acne's not near it's, as, nearly as it's bad. It's an as awful mine, way to treat. It's an awful way. It's a lazy way. It's an ignorant way to treat acne. Unless you're, you know, I don't, it can work. So if somebody's that is totally desperate, nothing's working, they've got really severe condition, then I can see why people would take it. But really, there's much better solutions. Much better solutions. It represents a lack of understanding on the part of dermatologists of how chemistry works. And this, it really highlights the difference between a clinician and a chemist, which we talk about a lot on this program. Clinicians do work with, in the clinic, they work with the, the signs and the symptoms, and they try to control the signs and the symptoms. A chemist understands the pathways. Hang on, Karen. I'll finish up when we come back from our okay, break. Okay, thank you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Karen in Texas about Accutane. Karen, you there? Yes, and you know, another thing about the prescription is they I sent him in to pick it up, and it was $710. So That's absurd. That's left. absurd. <laughs> you want to know how much this stuff really costs to make? It's like less than a dime. That's Can you imagine transferring a, trans, turning a dime into $700 with that... Uh, uh, it's I, I ungodly. I need to be in the Accutane making business. Maybe the drug business, you know. And by the way, the pharmacist isn't the guy making the money. It's the drug companies making the money on all this. Don't blame your pharmacist. Oh, uh, here's here's the here's the deal with Accutane. First of all, Accutane is fake vitamin A. Vitamin A is an is a really fascinating vitamin. It's very important for the skin. It helps cells divide at a certain clip, at a normal clip, a normal rate. And vitamin A also controls the flow of sebum to, uh, and secretions in general. And so when, uh, w- when you take Accutane, what you're doing is you're tricking the body into thinking you're taking vitamin A, but you're not. It looks almost exactly like vitamin A with just a slight tweak. So the cell gets tricked into taking in the Accutane as if it were vitamin A. But because it's not vitamin A, all the vitamin A machinery is clogged up. It's a monkey wrench. It throws a monkey wrench into the vitamin A machinery. Does that make sense how I explain that? Um, I'm not no. sure. <laughs> okay. Vitamin A is, is involved in making oil, in producing skin oils and making cells divide rapidly. That creates a pimple. Okay. Oh. So, so far, so good? Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you have the thinking is if you shut down vitamin A, 
the cells won't divide and the oil won't be secreted and you won't get a pimple. Okay? If you shut down okay. vitamin A's activity. And that's how Accutane works. It shuts down vitamin A's activity. The problem is vitamin A does a lot of things in the body. So what ends up happening is you get vitamin A deficiency side effects, including horrible, horrible dryness, dry eyes, dry throat, dry, uh, digestive problems because you don't secrete digestive juices. Everything dries up. And they haven't done any research on this, but it seems obvious that other vitamin A functions will be suppressed as well. And vitamin A is the main building vitamin, a main repair vitamin, a main growth vitamin, a main liver vitamin. Not to mention the fact that now your body has to process a drug has to detoxify a drug. This, this is just bad, bad, bad therapy, and it highlights the difference between a clinician and a chemist. A clinician doesn't care about what's happening in, to the chemistry in the body. A clinician, which is what a doctor is, a clinician doesn't care about the effects of a drug on the body, nor does a clinician care about the chemistry behind the disease or the symptoms. He just wants to knock out the symptom, and he doesn't care what he has to do to do it. And my beef with this is the, the idea that, number one, you're not correcting the problem, and number two, now you're giving the body more work to do. You've given it a poison. So what do you do? What's the answer? Well, Accutane, or acne has a cause. It doesn't just appear. There's a cause there, right? So the idea is what, what's causing it? Acne is an inflammatory condition. I mean, something is getting into the body that's turning on the inflammatory system. It's hyping up the body. So for one thing, what have we been talking about here the last month? We've been talking about calming the body down with the ketogenic diet. So just put, putting one and one together, acne is a hyper condition. It's a condition where the body is going nuts. It's like cells are dividing really rapidly. Oil is being secreted in abundance. The ketogenic diet calms the body down. So put one and one together. The ketogenic diet is how you deal with acne. For, that alone will make a huge difference. There's much more. Well, vitamin A, taking natural vitamin A? Absolutely. That was gonna, I was going to tell you that. But here, let me just, before I get to that, calming the body down is how you deal with acne. The ketogenic diet is your acne diet. Uh, Makes sense so far? You're calming the body yeah. down. All right? Sugar and uh, excess secretion of sebum and excess oils are a sugar issue largely, or in many ways, they're a sugar issue. And an insulin issue, the ketogenic diet will help you there. The next thing is going to be supplements. Vitamin A is, is probably the most important supplement, okay? 20,000 IU a day. Zinc is right up there. 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolane. By the way, I have an acne supplement that's going to have all the nutrients for acne, that you need for acne uh, in one pill, in one cap okay. or three capsules that you take three capsules a day. What's that called? No. It's going to be called, uh, uh, you know, I forgot the name of it. I, we changed the name <laughs> of it. Uh, blemish Repair Blemish Repair Complex is what we're calling okay. it. Blemish okay. Repair. And it'll be out on my website, truth.treatments.com. Okay. Uh, here in the next week or so. Uh, anyway, but in the meantime, vitamin A, 20,000 IU, uh, zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day, selenium, 200 micrograms, of, or actually more, 600 micrograms a day on your selenium. Uh, it wouldn't hurt you to take some NAC, 1,000 milligrams a day. Wouldn't hurt you to get on some chromium, 20, uh, maybe 200 to 400 milligram, micrograms a day. Um, and then well, uh, something. Take all of that, uh, if I can get it all in one. Get it all. Yeah, day. to get my get my blemish repair complex. Get my retinol five percent gel as well. Look for food issues. Look for digestive health issues. Are the breakouts on the cheek? Are they on the T zone? Where are the breakouts going? Are they in the back? Uh, mostly on the cheek. The cheek is a food condition. All right. Cheek and acne. I heard you say something about bananas yesterday, but I was I was. Sometimes bananas are a problem. He eats lots of bananas. Sometimes they're a problem. The sugar in bananas is sometimes hard to process. So yes, yeah, sometimes bananas are a problem. Look to foods. Cheek means foods. T zone is, and this is roughly because there's overlap. But roughly speaking, uh, t cheeks mean food, and T zone means male hormones. But there's overlap. But with cheeks, you definitely want to look for dairy and for grains and for uh, problem foods. Uh, high, high sugar foods can be a problem. All right, I got to motivate here, Karen. I got a bunch of calls and I don't have a lot of okay. time. I hope we okay. helped you out. Thank you so much. Okay, take care. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. All right, uh, let's go to Pam in California. Welcome to the bright side. Um, good morning. Um, good morning, Ben. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? What's going on? Well, I have a question, and I haven't been able to get an answer from anyone, and I probably don't think there is an answer. But um, you know, I I use I, I use your truth, truth products, and the and I'm I'm an older lady, you know, I'm pushing seventy, and okay. um, I saw a, a huge improvement in the quality and texture of my skin 
However, from from pre-existing, I had pre-existing broken capillaries on my face. From all, you know, 30 years of not knowing the right thing to do. Okay. A little mechanical injury if I would use a washcloth to... Uh, you know, harshly, uh, they would so, break, whatever. So I know that there are lasers that will help this, but is there any other way to reduce this or the, eliminate the, the redness? The redness in there? Well, there I, are little capillaries. I know what I, you're talking about. That's a sign that your body's breaking down, is what you're well, witnessing. Well, I know, I know that, but I'm not and you're getting also any losing more of them. I'm not getting any more. They're just. That's good. That's awesome. I've had these for for, for 20 years, and um, they're just in the same place. I, I, now I would be looking to other conditions. You're not going to be able to address the, the blood vessels themselves, but you'll be able to address other conditions, and that in turn will help the blood vessels. So you got to look for other symptoms, other things that are going on in your body, and you got to correct those, especially at the foundational level. It's actually a very good question. Whenever you have a, a health challenge that's secondary, which is what that is, you can't address it by simply addressing the secondary problem. You got to go to the primary cause. And the primary cause is usually going to be in the digestive system through two directions, malabsorption of nutrition in combination with toxicity that's getting into the gut. The second primary cause is going to be the blood sugar system, and that's where you state uh, that involves elevations in sugar as well as elevations in insulin. And then the third primary cause is going to be the thyroid and the, the adrenal thyroid complex or the adrenal thyroid axis, which I call the adrenal thyroid axis, which is stress and salt balance as well as hypothyroidism. So what you got to do is you got to first look for, this is the same thing for everybody. I, I'm sure you've been listening to this program, so you probably know. The same thing for everybody, Pam. You got to work on the digestive system. You got to make sure you're getting your basic nutrients. You got to work on the blood sugar system. And then uh, you calm the body down, make sure you're getting enough salt, and uh, use, uh, make sure you're doing your deep breathing techniques, oxygenation. And it's the same thing for everything, Pam. You understand what I'm saying? So you're, I, I, but the, I don't know what else to eliminate. You know, I'm 111 pounds. I'm almost. Has nothing to do with weight. Pounds. Has nothing to do with weight, my dear. And, I, and I've cut out all grains. Oh, no, this is how you do it. Let me tell you. Hang on. I'm going to tell you what to do here. Okay? I don't want to lose okay. any more weight. No, it doesn't matter. You don't want to care about your weight. You care about your body fat. If you have a lot of protein, a lot of muscle, that's going to give you less. You're going to end up weighing. Uh, it's going to, the muscle is really what you're looking for. You, the number is really not as relevant as the fact that you have, you have uh, lean muscle. You know what I'm saying? It's not the number of pounds that you're looking for. It's the constituency of the body. See, if you have a bunch of, if you have a bunch of body fat, uh, you may not weigh as much as you have uh, more protein, but you're going to be healthier with, more, with the protein. So here's what you got to do. Pam, get yourself a notebook and write down everything you eat. And then connect digestive symptomology to specific foods and connect other symptoms like skin symptoms to specific foods. If you have inflammatory issues, connect those to specific foods and then eliminate those foods. That's called the elimination diet. And we talk about it all the time here. If you want to call back tomorrow and we'll finish up with you, Pam. I'm sorry we're just out of time. All right. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com if you want to uh, check out our bone broth protein go to brightsidehealth.com and of course I'd love to have you on the longevity team call 866-735-2470 tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team that's all the time we have for today I'm Pharmacist Ben have an awesome wonderful beautiful spectacular day we'll talk to y'all later bye for now